Hey everybody, welcome back to your brother popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? I am somebody who grew up watching the cartoons and I even enjoyed the live action early 2000s Scooby Doo movies that we got. Now, with the 2020 version that we have more of a CGI animation because that's what the kids seem to like these days didn't quite win me over to be honest with you this this movie has been kind of getting mixed reviews either here for it or you're not i i kind of fall in the middle i am somebody who was really excited when i found out that we were getting a new scooby-doo movie the excitement went a little bit down when i did see the animation because it wasn't really winning me over and they went on and got like a whole beverly hills 90210 like makeover my least favorite was fred i don't know if it was just me well my sister said the same thing too but it really seemed like he was having that like baby snapchat filter on him the whole time like i i don't really know what they were going with that okay let's go ahead and get on with the actual story i've, I've given my semi grief on how they look and you know so the actual story the first about 10 15 minutes of the movie you, you get that origin story uh you get how the game really came together they do their first mystery and it was very true to the cartoon of we're gonna solve a mystery we're gonna unmask these like golden goblins and see who's behind the mask you know and i was really looking forward to say okay okay I like this. This is going in a good direction. I got really excited when we started hearing Scooby Dooby Doo. And they um, actually had some of like the little cartoon classic ghouls and goblins and them like, you know, running side by side, that little thing that they would do. I was, that was, oh, I just, that just brought back so many memories. I just, I love that little sequence to then get us to present time to what the story is actually about. The actual story happens. We're not trying to really solve a mystery, really trying to unmask the villain. Um, it's really more of a rescue mission, artifact, quest, race. Because, you know, you got to get there before the bad guy. Which I really did like the bad guy, Dick something. They have a lot of, like, really modern day references. Because they, they did want to keep with what's fresh right now which is superhero they incorporated a superhero which is voiced by mark Wahlberg. i think they could have just stuck with uh the main villain and not even had had that whole team that they had there they did have a lot of funny parts with um blue falcon my sister since we saw the movie we've been doing that don't you point at me don't you double point me. honestly i feel like some of the humor is really gonna like just sh the kids and it's gonna be more towards uh, the adults surprisingly you guys i did not cry in the movie um it's a shocker if you are new i'm a crier just know i felt like a little like oh uh, and i don't know i feel like if i was a little bit more invested in the movie that i definitely would have cried there towards the end there is like a very sentimental scene that I, I could have seen myself. I could have cried. At the end of the day, you guys, as much as, you know, Scooby-Doo is, like, our childhood and, you know, we would have loved for this to be, like, a movie for us, right? We're not the intended audience for this. You know, they may have done a couple things here and there intended for the adults, the movie for kids, and the kids are really going to enjoy it. The animation is stunning. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to deny that. It is very beautiful, but I don't know. It's too modern for me. I feel like they really took the soul and the essence of our scooby-doo childhood and then they just like gen z that bitch it was entertaining enough you know honestly i would recommend to wait to rent it off of redbox i feel like 20 dollars is too much to pay for it that's my own personal opinion i just feel you may be disappointed i'm very undecisive about how i i feel overall about the movie if you see scoob what did you guys think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you a scooby doo fan do you feel like this let you down do you prefer this over the 2000 live action movies because before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new once it's safe i'll see you guys at concessions whenever that may be bye